there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another car video. The best indication that looks are subjective. The best indication. Because you know what, there's always this big argument about, well, one, whether looks matter and then what type of looks. Let me say, uh, on the, I'm going to wreck it. Yes, looks matter. Okay, everything matters. Let me go on the record. I've said that before. Shoot, that's part of the body game because even getting your body together, it actually affects your face too. And anybody who's got my on-demand videos know, I'm like, hey, get a haircut, fix those teeth. You know, fix your hair as best as possible. Get your face looking as best as possible. Now, the issue I do have with that argument, and I do have an issue, is that people, you got some dudes thinking there's only one type of look. Like, you know, a dude got to be, you know, a square jawed and everything, you know, which I mean, it's a good look. I mean, yeah, usually if a dude's got a square jaw, yeah, he get plenty of attention from women. Shit. Ain't no doubt about that. But then let's use some common sense. You got some men who don't have square jaws. They getting attention from women. Shoot, most Hollywood actors don't have square jaws. Shoot, if you look at somebody like Chris Hemsworth. Women go crazy over him. He actually got a roundish face. You know, well, Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, anybody. Shoot, square jaws are actually rare. Seriously. You do a Google search on it, you got very few guys who got it. But, you know, even then, you know, some dudes want to go, oh, you got to have a square jaw to have a, get a woman. And and then they throw in the height thing, too. That's that's another thing. Like, oh, yeah, you got to be 6'2". If, if you under 5'10", you in trouble. You ain't getting a woman. Okay. Look. Yeah, if you if you got, if you're 6'2", square jaw, muscular, and stuff, shit, well, you're an alpha showpiece. But, you know, the originator of the term said that's only 1% of the population. <laughs> you know, everybody else getting something. Now, here's the best indication. That other men are getting some and shit. To me, it's the ultimate receipt. Who the fuck having babies out here? Who the fuck fathering babies? Let's be real now, because I'm gonna tell you something now. And I talked about this in my book, Sexual Chemistry. A woman having your wanting to have your baby, shoot, that's the ultimate indication of what she think about you. Because let's be real, what's what's the ultimate thing for sex? Reproduction. The ultimate thing women do, they choose certain men to send their genes into the future. All right. And no, if you totally jacked up physically, like totally jacked up physically. Oh, no, you're going to have some trouble. That's why I emphasize body game and, you know, just getting your physicality in the best shape possible. I mean, we can't get past that. Some people want to and say it don't matter. Yes, it matters. But the, just thinking just one type of thing, because the reality is women have different looks they like. Yeah, some women like tall and slim. Some women like. Uh, shorter and stocky and then even with that taller thing only 14 percent of the global population men in the world are over six feet 14 percent and then it goes down to uh if you talk about like six two it goes down to three percent yet um globally women still popping out babies globally the human race they still popping out babies because in general in general in general, most women don't even be tripping over. Yeah, you get some women who trip over that shit, but I mean, these women usually got some other issues why you should leave them alone. In general, as long as you're taller than a woman, and even then, I personally, personally, and anybody who goes out, you can every now and then, you'll see a dude who's shorter than the woman having babies. Even to this day, because then a lot of people say, well, that, that might have been back in the day, but not now. Well, last time I looked, maternity words were still busy. Women we still popping out babies. And they ain't having it by male models. Seriously, our alpha showpieces, hell. See, that's the ultimate thing. Everybody can get into all these alpha, beta, sigma, all that, even select, non-select. But the ultimate indication, if a woman want a man, she pop out a baby. Seriously, think about it. Women got like 30 forms of birth control, and if that shit don't work, plan B. If that don't work, well, abortion's still legal in most of the world, you know. 
Even in some states that they restrict it, somebody just go to the next state. Shoot, if a woman have a baby, think about it. That's the ultimate thing. You're hitting her on a deep level. Trust me, because if a woman, every single time a woman has sex, every single time, even if she on birth control, even if you're using uh, condoms, even if she got a stack of uh, Plan B right there, she has to think about the possibility she'll have a baby. If somebody's totally jacked up to her, she ain't going to have sex with him. She ain't going to be attracted to him, you know? And when people say that, I agree. But see, the problem is, the problem, the only issue I'm having is they think it's just one look or one height. Like they'll say, well, if they, it's over if they under five foot seven or something. Yet I've known several men up to this day who are five, five or under who got kids. So, and it says a lot if a woman want to have a man's child. And don't say, oh, well, they having it just for child support or something. I know some people will say that shit. It's like, shoot. A lot of times, they, shoot, they ain't even, uh, they ain't even getting it, you know. They were just turned on by the man to that extent. Unless the man's really rich, the women don't really press them for it. Don't go by what y'all seeing with these millionaires and billionaires and stuff. Or pro athletes. Shoot. A lot of women just good if the man spend time with the child. And maybe get some diapers every now and then. Oh, and even in cases uh, of a paternity fraud, she still had to have sex with the man just to convince him he was a father. And if you take an honest look, if seriously, when you go out in public, take an honest look. Every time you see a man with some kids or something like that, ask yourself, say, okay, is he? does he got a square jaw? All right, is he over six feet? You know, if, is he even super muscular or anything like that? You get different sizes and shapes and everything. And if somebody still don't want to believe that, because a lot of people, they just want to believe what the fuck they want to believe, even though there's prima facie evidence to the, the contrary. And that's a that's a legal thing. Prima facie means it's right there in front of you. You know, if you go in the court of law, uh, eyewitness account of anything weighs tons. And if you see it right in front of you, that's the case. See, a lot of people ignore what's right in front of them or they don't go out or they pretend like they don't see it because they get in a start, a stuck in an argument shit but that baby thing is serious like on IG I follow like a lot of uh, pages that feature like couples particularly black couples and like one I follow I say probably once a week they'll show several pictures of like black families. And I'll be looking at the husbands because you know everybody got that argument. Oh, he gotta look like a Pookie or Ray Ray or he gotta be a, you know, 6'2 or all that shit. I'm like, well shit, these some ordinary looking motherfuckers who be having like five kids and shit. And they look just like the father. <laughs> it's like shit. I mean, damn. It's right there. And see, that's the thing. See, and you know, and I'm saying that because too many people get caught up. They don't look a certain way. Too many men, because they don't look a certain way, they think, oh, well, I ain't this, I ain't that. No. Whatever I always say, you look the best you can. Get as you, you get in your best shape and then find the women who are feeling it. Shit. Because, I mean, you know what? I mean, people can say, I mean, like I said, that's the ultimate indication. Like a man could, anybody, any man could go out with a bunch of women. Right, he can go out with a bunch of women, spend money on it, all that. But you know what? I mean, think of I mean, use some common sense, man. Seriously, man. Everybody use everything except some fucking common sense. Use some common sense. It take a lot for a woman to have a baby. I mean, you talking about this little motherfucker gonna have a puking, stretch her body out, and trust me, trust me. Any father who's gone, who's like been in the room. For a baby coming out, this shit, it's painful to man. Cause I know you witnessed the baby, mom, the mother having a baby. I remember every time, to this day, every time I meet somebody and they will say they woman pregnant, or I meet a woman, she having a baby. I say, okay, be sure and warn the future father. There's a lot of pain. Cause trust me, like I'm saying, pain for the father. You get cursed out, everything. Cause that shit, that shit ain't easy for the woman. They all right once the baby pops out. They mean as hell during that, uh, they pushing that thing out. Shoot. 
and women doing all that. So for her to even want your baby, a man's baby, shoot, they gotta find some attraction for him. And they ain't all like the six foot two guys. Or they ain't all like the square jawed guys. Shit, women like different things. And guys gotta understand that. Now, if you don't look late, like, don't worry about if you don't look like a certain person. Find the women who feel it. And if they say, well, it's only the ugly women. Well, motherfucker, maybe you need some work you got to do. Maybe you need to work on yourself. Hit the motherfucking gym. Go get a barber. Let a barber bless you. Fix your fucking teeth. Exfoliate. <laughs> Shit, wash your motherfucking face. Get that beard. If you don't have that strong beard, if you, hey, look. Even, even, even like the jawline thing. Grow a beard, man. Women be... Shit, I've seen women call a man a, like, fine as shit. And all the motherfucker had a beard. You didn't know what the fuck was under. You can cut it in a square shape. Like, you some... And, you know, a lot of people get uh, caught up over that word game. That was actually the game I learned in the streets. That was the game I learned in the shit. It, the shit even means even more now in the age of social media and IG and all of that. Shoot. Your appearance, that's a big part of the game. Your appearance is a major part of the game because that's the bait. That turns on women. But it turns on the women. If you pay attention, it turns on the women who like whatever your type is. That's why I always say if she don't if she don't lust you or show that she's attracted to you like that, leave her alone. Seriously. You know, just find your tribe. And trust me, I've seen fine-ass women with all types of guys. I've seen, in fact, I've seen like fine-ass women more with ordinary-looking guys than I've seen them with uh, fashion model types. Seriously, I've seen them. I don't know. Like I said, I live in Harford County, Maryland, and I'm talking. To, and you know, a lot of people think I'm just talking about black women when I talk about it. Get off of it, man. I got a global audience. Got a ton of white women and stuff popping out babies for some stocky dudes here. Shit. Because I know this one woman, shit, she looked like uh, she's about a nine or something. White woman, blonde hair, blue eye. Her husband, shit. Her husband, five foot nine. He was five foot nine. Had a little gut on him. And yeah, five foot nine had a little gut on him and everything. Cool dude, though. Cool dude. But that's what she liked. Because I remember a guy she dealt with before him. Same thing. <laughs> she that's what she liked. So that shit ain't, you know, looks as subjective. Because remember, every woman, like uh I've talked about the imprint, right? Oh, and real quick, let me give a go off on a tangent because every now and then you get some idiot who don't want to believe in imprint. Look, look up love map or just look up the term sexual imprinting. Psychologists know about it. They talk about it. Okay, just look up if you don't if you don't want to look up the uh, the term womb imprint, it'd be hard to find. But that's just how uh, you know that's just how I say it in my little small circle. But look up sexual imprinting. So you don't know who that woman's first guy was. And that that that's a big thing. You don't know her circumstances, whatever. It's a very important thing. Oh man, he's popo around here. So anyway. Yeah. But that's the biggest indication. I mean, anybody can say anything and they can think anything. But who the ba who these women having babies by? And the guys they having babies by ain't all Chaz and Tyrone's. Because it's really a bigger thing, and I'll, I'll, just, I'll just throw this out there. Women well, have multiple types, man. Any damn way. Yeah, they could say they like a certain guy, and they will. Yeah, they will. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Shit, most sane women going to like uh, Alpha Showpiece. You know? But you see what a woman like this shit she'll, she'll mess with the alpha showpiece one day and then just some regular regular guy who can stand and lose 20 pounds the next day shit learn the game learn, learn female nature man that's really just female nature it's more open than people realize alright and like I said 
And if somebody doubt that, well, explain how these babies are popping, how these average looking dudes are popping out babies. Ain't all money. Ain't all money. Shoot. Sure. So anyway. That's all I got for today, y'all. Hold on. Let me park before I turn this off. I gotta watch what I'm doing. Good popo around here in one of their little uh, sneak SUVs and whatnot. Uh, look like one of my buddies. Yeah, that's how they be doing those bambles. I don't know. That's about all they have to do around here. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go in here, get my juices and stuff. I'm uh, I'm actually fasting today. I fast like a couple of days a week. You know, getting into game shape, getting into game shape. So anyway, y'all. Oh, and just real quick, man. Um, check out my uh membership site. Check out my membership. Just join the membership. Uh, that's the that's the part just for uh select dudes. That's the part just for select dudes and select issues and stuff. All right. So anyway, I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.